Thanks for coming back, guys. I'm Joe Beretta. I'm Ellie Morgan. This is 20 Minutes or Less. In another example of we live in the future, future. scientists over at NASA have recently created a tiny disease-fighting nanotube capsule that astronauts are going to be able to put underneath their skin that will fight ailments while they're kicking it up in space. Cells in the nanotube capsule could diagnose and release treatment without the user ever knowing something was wrong in their body. The idea came about when NASA was trying to figure out how to keep astronauts healthy when they were on extended missions to the final frontier. Hey, Elliot. Yeah, Joe. Say we send a team of astronauts out to Mars. Okay. The round trip vacation, or spaycation. I like that. Yeah, it would take about three years. Uh, that's an awful long time to be away from a doctor. Right. But what if something went wrong? What if an astronaut, I don't know, experienced a solar particle flare and was exposed to elevated levels of radiation? Ah, good question. Thank you, Joe. That's where the biocapsule comes into play. <sighs> The cells in the capsule would sense the change in radiation and would automatically dispense medicine throughout the body to help it compensate. The capsule was created by NASA at the Space Biosciences Division by Dr. David Loftus. He was awarded the patent for the biocapsule and now effectively holds the keys to the future of medical sciences. The applications for this biocapsule would be endless. Even we here on Earth will be able to use it. In what would be a simple outpatient procedure, doctors would create a tiny incision somewhere on your body, most likely your thigh or your buttocks. You just wanted to say buttocks. Yes, I did. Buttocks. And the tiny capsule would be placed under your skin. A few stitches later and you're on your way out the door. To top it all off, are not single shot capsules. Each one could be capable of releasing multiple meter doses over multiple years. And the capsules themselves are made from incredibly resilient nanotubes, which there is no known enzyme that can break down their structure. Suck it, enzymes. It'll be strong enough to hold the cells inside, but porous enough to let medicine seep through. This technology could already be applied to a number of medical situations. Take cancer, for instance. The biocapsule could be placed directly next to the cancer spot, and chemotherapy could be injected locally instead of throughout the entire body, greatly reducing side effects. And this could be game changing for diabetes. Capsules could be engineered with pancreatic cells inside that could read glucose levels. When those levels are low, they could release the necessary amount of insulin when needed. It would basically create a world where diabetics would never have to give themselves a shot again. It was also discussed that these things could be like mini EpiPens for people who suffer from severe allergies. They'll begin testing on animals sometime later this year and humans will follow shortly after. And they say this will hit the mainstream in maybe 10 to 15 years. Yep, much, much sooner would be good. So what other problems do you guys think this type of technology could solve? Leave a comment down below. Like, subscribe, follow us on Twitter, go to our Facebook, do it all. Click on this annotation for more stories of the day. Go to sourcefed.com to find everything we've ever done. And I'm Joe Beretta. I'm Elliot Morgan. We live in the future.